Well, Alan, it's nice to have this chance to talk with you because uh, your background has been mostly theater up till mm -hmm. now, and so I haven't had a chance to meet you. But I have a feeling that everybody is going to know your name from now on because of this film. And there you are, number one villain of the film. You don't look at all villainous. I don't feel intimidated by you at <laughs> I all. I should hope not. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like? I mean, making your first film is an experience anyway, but to make your film debut in something like this, was this a, 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 just a terrorizing experience for you, or what was it like? No, I, I didn't feel terrorized. I actually quite like um, uh, to be scared. By, but not, not even scared, but I like, I like the idea of jumping off a cliff. I like a bit of danger to be involved in the work, you know, some size to the challenge. So that was definitely there because it was such a big movie uh, to be involved in. And the challenge was inside that big kind of broad um, adventure movie to to make a person you live in, in the middle of it. I'm sorry. You did some of your own stunts, didn't you? Yeah. I what think did I did all of them. <laughs> well, what, what, did, <laughs> Such uh, as they were. what did you do? What, what do you consider the most dangerous one you did? Well, I mean, I, I suppose potentially the most dangerous thing I did, I mean, there was really only one stunt for me to do. Uh, there was jumping down from a ledge three foot high, which a lot of people do every day of their lives. I just managed to rip a cartilage in my knee doing that. Um, but that was because it was late at night and tense and noisy and, um, and it was my first shot. So that was living dangerously. It was the first thing I ever did on the movie. Um, but right at the end, I was dropped from 40 feet. Now see, I just bank. can't imagine that. I can't imagine that. Well, I couldn't. That's why I did it. <laughs> I kind of checked out that it was going to be safe. And uh, they promised me it was. But now, of course, in retrospect, I think, what else are they going to say? They won't want me to do it. But I knew it would be a good shot. So I, if I, once I knew that it would be safe enough, then uh, it was fine. And, and I'm not scared of heights or anything like that. So it was, it, was, it was a thrill. You only had to do it once? No, I had to do it. It was three or four times. I can't remember which now. Did it feel the same each time? I mean, the same amount of... Did it get faster? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, did you get used to it? Um, well, you kind of knew that, that the, f the feeling of leaving your stomach up there was going to be coming up in a second or two. Um, by the second and third time, yeah. It got a bit tougher because uh, in order to drop, you first had to climb out through a gantry and then be hung by a brace that was uh, around my hips and waist and then hanging from a wire. And you'd be sometimes hanging there for a couple of minutes because I had to get the focus right and then all of that. And then suddenly they pull the wire and suddenly you're just falling. And it's not as if it's free falling, you know, there's no wires, nothing. Just you and the ground coming up. <laughs> you Except get there was an airbag. Do you get extra money for that? Uh, no. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> you didn't ask. But maybe I should have talked to my union. <laughs> but I don't think so. <laughs> um, are you bitten by the the movie bug now? Is this? You I think? do enjoy making films. Yeah, I went on to do another film straight after Die Hard, and which is very different and very much smaller and a comedy, much more of a comedy, I guess. Good guy. A good guy, yeah. Romantic guy. Well, sort of, in an odd sort of, oddball sort of way. Um, not the romantic lead of the movie, that's Kevin Klein, but um, his, his next door neighbor who gets involved in helping him and Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio to solve a crime. Uh -huh. But um, no, I like it. But it comes at a right time for me because I've spent the last two years working really hard in the theatre, so it's uh, was uh, was Bruce a big help to you in the scenes you had with him? Yeah, he was great because he knows exactly what he's doing, and you know that if you've got somebody who you can just see is confident on the set, 
and also off, you know, when the cameras aren't rolling, just being watching somebody who handles that situation as well as he does, um, handles his relationship with the crew and is very professional about um, being ready and, uh, and knowing what he has to do and not wasting anybody's time. Does he kid around with the crew? Oh, yeah. yeah. And you know, I wouldn't be confident enough to do that. I would just be going and whispering to them, <laughs> asking for advice. <laughs> 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 but no, yeah, and that's great. If you have a, a leading actor, I think they have a responsibility to the whole atmosphere of the set. You know, I always feel that a leading actor in a play has a responsibility to the company. It's something you have to take on board, and, uh, and he certainly does. And Absolutely to his credit, because it, uh, it just helps everybody else to relax. Yes. Well, Alan, I enjoyed you very much. You're a good villain. Thank you. A scary villain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that I can see you this way rather yeah, than... Yeah, I'm just a real person. <laughs> Strangely enough. Uh, wonderful performance. Thanks the movie's going much. to do very, very well. Thanks. See you in the sequel. <laughs> I'm pal. <laughs> 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 Levitation. <laughs> Like John Gielgud, you'll come back as a ghost. Oh, a ghost. <laughs> a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.